Hey there, in this video, we'll be going over the step-by-step -step process of launching new audiences within Magix. When it comes to creating new campaigns and audiences, we at Magix are all familiar with the time invested in planning and building your next launch. With that in mind, we've built a tool that will enable you to launch a full funnel strategy in just a few clicks. We've gathered expert media buying knowledge from thousands of advertisers in every industry and used it to create a launching tool with dozens of proven audiences that you can use to instantly target those you should be. Our team has designed this tool in a way that works hand in hand with our analytical tools, allowing you to use the information you've gathered and act upon it, growing and scaling areas of the account quickly and efficiently. We've divided these audiences into the four segments of our ARR strategy, acquisition prospecting lookalike, acquisition re-engagement, retargeting, and retention. If we look into the re-engagement segment, these are people who have heard of or engaged with your brand in some way, but have yet to reach your website. Examples of these audiences are Instagram followers or fans of your brand's Facebook page. It also includes those that have watched one of your videos or interacted with your ads. In the second segment of acquisition, prospecting lookalikes, we have audiences of people who don't know your brand yet, and you may refer to them as cold audiences. If your pixel is new and does not have enough data to build lookalike audiences, you can always use our Audience Studio tool to discover hidden interests you might be missing out on. And if you have any questions regarding the amount of data required to create effective lookalikes, you can always check out our app guide or reach out to our support team. Along with the more than 50 acquisition audiences offered, we've also enabled a default exclusion audience titled Magix Non-Acquisition, which will automatically exclude all visitors in the last 30 days and all purchasers in the last 180 days. This is done to ensure that you are launching clean acquisition. Once people visit your website, they become retargeting audiences, or as others may describe them, warm audiences. These are some of the most profitable that you can target as they've already shown significant interest in your brand. We allow you to build retargeting audiences based on the recency of their visit or the level of their intent to convert. And lastly, we have retention audiences, which are your existing customers. These audiences are your low hanging fruit. They're simply used to upsell or recover people who already trust you and your brand's products or services. Among the audiences offered within Magix Launcher are 27 AI-backed audiences created and optimized by the Magix software. We refer to these as our ERFM audiences, as they are built by segmenting website visitors and customers to create lookalikes based on their level of engagement, recency, frequency, and the monetary value that they bring with them. Go ahead and select as many audiences as you wish here. And once you do, you'll be prompted to select a campaign to place these ad sets in. The first option provided is Magix's default structure, which automatically places the ad sets in designated campaigns based on their funnel stage. The second option is to select an existing campaign within the ad account. And the third is to create a new campaign with a new campaign budget or selecting ABO, in which case you'll set up the budget at a later stage. After completing this step, you'll find yourself in the Magix ad picker, which allows you to select your top performing ads based on a given time frame and a KPI of your choice. By default, this metric is set to ROAS if your account is set to e-commerce or cost per lead if you do lead generation, but you can always change this metric. You should also use our smart filtering to view results by audience segment, device, placement, and more, essentially removing the guessing game of which ad is most likely to perform in the audiences you're building. If you've created a new ad in the ads manager or you're unable to find your ad in the ad picker, you can manually pull it in using either its ad or post ID in the tab on the right hand side. You can also save several ads as a grouped preset for future creations. Something to mention here is that when using existing ads in Magix, we aim to preserve social proof using the same post ID. This way, any likes, comments, or shares you may have had on the original ad will be carried over in your creation. You'll also notice an additional three tabs, which are creative clusters, Facebook posts, and Instagram posts. Creative clusters is a tool developed by Magix that allows you to create new combinations of your top performing creatives and your best ad copies. This way, you can scale your winning assets without having to revisit the drawing board of the creation process. Here you can choose as many ads, posts, and clusters as you wish, essentially letting you mass launch them into the new ad sets that you're creating. Once you've chosen your ads, you'll be taken to the audience setup page, where you'll be prompted to set up placements, age groups, and genders, as well as other targeting options depending on the audiences you've selected on the first step. In each case, we'll provide account data where it's needed most to guide you in the right direction of your creation, whether it's account data on specific age ranges, genders, placements, as well as performance by countries, regions, as well as DMAs. 
We do this to ensure that you are targeting only those that are most likely to drive results. Another amazing feature of this tool is the ability to A-B test by clicking the copy button on one of the audiences above. Here, you can implement small changes, such as different lookalike percentages or different placements in order to compare the results later on. Once you finish this, you'll be taken to the last step of the launching process, which allows you to choose a launch time. You can choose to launch now, at midnight, at a specific hour, or at an optimized time which is recommended by Magix. Further below, you'll find the naming structure of your ad sets, which you can easily edit with just a few clicks. Now that you've gotten through all of the steps, just click next, your creation will be processed, and you should see it in your ad account within the next five to 10 minutes. When it comes to launching ads, we wanted to build a seamless analytics-backed process that makes launching a worry and hassle-free experience and unstructured accounts a thing of the past. Go ahead and launch your own full funnel strategy using the Magix Launcher and see how it matches up against your current structure.